Hey guys, so today we are going to talk about Java and C Sharp or the .NET framework, specifically the .NET Core, and why these tools are so popular in the enterprise world. So let's get into it. Now, you see, this is a question that I got the other day by a subscriber of mine and I think it's a great question because the thing is that if you stay any amount of time in in programming and you look around at the different languages you will notice that there is this uh, well let's be honest here JavaScript is probably the most ha hated quote-unquote language uh, followed virtually by well, not C sharp. I don't think C sharp has a bad, bad rap or all that much. But there is a little bit of an um, there's a prejudice against people who work in C sharp for some, for a lot of people, and the same thing kind of go for goes for Java. But Java is also one of those languages that people just love to hate, and you you'll hear the, the regular old stories. It's not innovative it's slow it's all these other issues and so forth and so forth and what I think is so interesting about that is that it doesn't matter it is the world's like Java is the world's most popular server-side language and not just server-side it's used for so so many different things and if so many people are hating on it then why it's it why is it so popular well I'm glad you asked well, there's no definitive way to declare, like to actually say that, oh, this is the reason. But I can give you my two cents on this. And I think it should be, well, at least this is the way I think about it. You see, the mistake that the people who are hating on Java and like these sorts of languages are making is that they assume that things such as speed, for example, that th this matters at all. And it doesn't. It doesn't matter at all. Think about take Ruby for example. It made itself extremely popular, even though it's on the slow st slow scale on basically every single programming language. And the reason why it became so popular has nothing to do with the performance of the language. It has to do with the developer experience. It has to do with the community. It has to do with the accessibility of the language and all the tools around it, spe specifically Ruby on Rails. That's where the popularity came from. The same thing goes for, say, Node.js and JavaScript and so forth. There are people who will try to promote different aspects of JavaScript, but the fact of the matter is that the Node ecosystem and JavaScript and so forth doing doing server-side JavaScript, the popularity does not come from the performance. That's a benefit. The real popularity comes from that it's all JavaScript. It's, easy, it's easily accessible. It has a, a very slow learn, like a, a, like a fairly easy learning curve. There's tons of people already know it and you can get a, you know, get a lot of productivity from it. And you see, this is the thing that nobody is telling you. Programming and programming language popularity is not about peak performance. It has never been about peak performance. It has not even been about having like the coolest, trendiest concepts or engineering aspects. It has nothing to do with that. Java and C Sharp are the world's most popular enterprise languages because of two things. You want to hear what those are? Number one. It's a massive ecosystem. It has everything that you could possibly want for enterprise level development. There is nothing, uh, there's nothing in, the, in basically nothing in the enterprise world that you cannot build with Java or C Sharp. It's made for this sort of large scale development. It's something that's, gr it's, the ecosystem is massive. And a lot of people don't like the fact that it's massive, but companies love that the, this, this is actually the case because large companies have a lot of different projects. They have a lot of diversity in the stuff that they are making. And if you then have one single language that can give you everything that you could possibly want, it is more stable than anything out on the market. Because let's be honest here, yeah, sure, you could build, rebuild your entire enterprise application in, say, Go, but the ecosystem is tiny, it's almost non-existent in comparison to Java. So why would you take that risk if all Go is going to give you is 
basically the same benefits for your you for your needs and a better performance unless that is your use case because the thing is that large scale enterprise applications i mean performance guys it only matters to a certain point and at a at another point the, the the equation becomes not about performance of the application it becomes about the cost of development work now what do i mean by that because that's the second thing the second reason why java and c sharp are so popular and why they are going to stay that way for i don't i don't think that we will see a difference in that in a very very long time is because there are more people there are so many java and c sharp developers in comparison to anything else i would argue even i will go even as far as to say this is just javascript that has more developers than java the rest like most most people who do this professional who's who work in professional software development uh, like in in the enterprise world they know java and that's the power of java it's easy accessible it's it's easy it's easy to get started with it in comparison to other languages it is easy to work in it's a it's a standard non don't get me wrong an un unsexy standard language it's not the tool that you get excited about it's the tool you use every day that's the difference that's what people don't understand these people who are i call them naysayers who they don't get that not every, software development for some people yes and for some companies you may get it into your heads that it's about popularity it's about innovation it's about trendiness no guys at really large scale the product itself may be innovative quote unquote the actual delivery of the product may be innovative you may be innovating at the design level you may be innovating in the boardrooms but the language that's about stability that's all it is it's about stability it's about having something that will work for a very long time because large companies do not want to take the sort of risk that it poses to use a um, like an obscure super trendy language like i don't know crystal that is completely unproven it has almost no ecosystem nothing like that because these companies they build projects for long for the long haul it costs a lot of money to build things at that scale and then you need something that not only have has a lot of developers because you have to find people to build your thing and the second thing is it has to work for a really long time and that's why java and c sharp are so popular in the enterprise world it's not because they as i said they're not the sexy tool they're just the thing that they, you use almost every day and there's a lot of power in that you see it's think of it as uh, inventing a new product the people who make the most amount of money the inventors who make the most amount of money from their prod products are not the inventors who invent this tiny little super cool awesome trendy product that you see on youtube it's the people who invented the paper clip or the post-it note these tiny these everyday standard thing that nobody gets excited about but every damn person on the planet uses that's what java is that's what c-sharp is they're not out to win the trendiness battle with node.js or or go or rust or so forth they're just there to be the default and that's why they are so popular have a great day